Yep, and you want to use the rail. So wait until you get around the corner. You want to set him up just like you would the other horse, okay. though. Think supple round, easy walk. Yep, make sure he's fed. A little uh, bit. Yeah, and then when I go to the canter, I need to do the same kind of thing. Yeah, you, got to, you learned it. You just got to fiddle, just move the reins a little bit. But go ahead. You, you're okay. He's not going to run off on you, I swear. So when you're ready, go ahead and ask him for canter. Yeah, it's just a question of riding his neck supple, and then he stays really nice and delightful. Don't let him go any lower or he'll break. <laughs> <laughs> nice canter does. Again, yeah, don't overtake your inside rein when you ask for canter. Yeah, close your leg on him even before. Yeah, use your leg. That's fine. Remember, don't stop using your leg just a little. Think about giving him just a little hug. Don't let him go too low in the neck. Good job. Yeah, and then straighten his neck out. That's okay. Again, you're getting him a little too much in the inside rein and not enough in the outside rein, okay? Think about, think about riding him uphill. Yep, and again, keep your leg a <laughs> nice transition. So again, bend him a little left. Use your rein and hold your leg on him a little. Yeah, he won't, he won't go faster, I swear. Good. Better. That's okay. It's all right. You're just not feeling that timing. 